Hello, I'm Jitender and in this video, I'm going to show you how can you create a professional looking brochure in just PowerPoint. So without any further delay, let's come to the tutorial. So in this video, we are going to discuss this brochure. Let me just show you a quick preview of this brochure. I'll come to the slideshow mode and you can see that I have some university name here, uh, dates and uh, conference name here, the topic of interest, important dates, some related people, registration fee and some detail about the university and if there is any publication also. And the last I have kept some offer. If there is some early bird or registration offer is there, that can be availed. And then I have created a register now button. So if you are sharing this as a PDF, the user can click on that and visit to your website and at the last i have a footer where i have provided a couple of links that will be useful for the user and contact number so let me just show you how can you build this kind of conference brochures very easily in powerpoint before i start the tutorial i want to show you how can you choose colors for your presentation so for that open your browser and there you can search color gradient color gradient and uh, you can come to the second option called UI gradients while it's loading so now you can see you have very nice uh, color scheme here, over here if you want to make some different colors so what you can do is just you can click show all gradients and I guess the one I'm using is called Emin so what you have to do is click on the Emin and you can copy out these two color codes so for the simplification what I have done is I have zoomed in here and uh, I have taken print screen button and I have taken the print screen of that and net and I have pasted over here so you can compare with this so once you're done with that let's take press ctrl n to take a new document I have a couple of guidelines here so I'll just click uh, right click there and delete these guidelines and I'll right click here layout and I'll choose blank layout next come to design slide size custom slide size now it's all depend upon you what kind of size you are looking for most likely the brochure size are a4 so let's choose a4 so I will choose a4 and once again what kind of orientation you're looking for and most likely the documents are printed in portrait form so i'm going to take portrait and i will click maximize so once you are done here i will bring in the color scheme so i'll just press ctrl v because it, it was in my clipboard i'll just reduce the size a bit now let's create the same design so what i'm going to do is I'll go first to shapes and I will take under basic shape I will take right triangle so I will draw a triangle now I will rotate this like this you can hold shift on the keyboard and I will just stretch it like this and I will reduce it its height somewhere here next I will press control on the keyboard and just drag like this and with this we got our second shape now it's height and all you can adjust like this and right right click here and click send to back next it's time to color this shapes so I will right click and you can see there will be an option called format shape I'll come to fill and I'll choose gradient fill so I'll click here I will remove this I will click here and I'll remove this now select this first stop and I will choose eyedropper and I will choose first color similar way I will now click on the second stop and I will choose eyedropper and I'll select the second color with this you can see our gradient is now ready next you can see there is some outline on this so next what you can do is 
come to line option and make sure that you choose no line now i'm going to apply the same gradient to this also so i will pick up the object style and i will select this one and i will apply the style now you can see very nicely gradient is applied next now we can see the two shapes if you compare here these two shapes are looking too different like they have some sort of depth effect there so what i'm going to do is i'll come to shape effect make sure that you select the first shape that we have drawn shape effect shadow and you choose offset center now come to effects and shadows i will increase the transparency by 70 size 100 is fine and i will increase the blur to somewhere around 40 so now you can see it is before and it is after so now you have some sort of depth going there so once this is done let me just quickly take this logo that i have drawn as from some random university i'll just paste it over here and next i will take this text i'll paste here and similar way these are these all are text so i'll just copy the text and paste over here okay let me just reduce this height little bit and take it up now you might be wondering how can you give a gradient color to a text let me just show you so for example let me take a text box i will take 2021 text here and i will change its font to roboto by the way the font used in this document is called roboto condensed it's a very beautiful font you can download it for free on google fonts now let me just increase the size of this i'll press ctrl b to make it bold press ctrl e to center it now i'll come to format option now here you can see you have shape options and text options so you have to come to text options and there you will see you have something called gradient fill choose gradient fill and there you go you have the desired color you can change the angle of your color as required so that's how you can create this gradient color on a text now let me just quickly take these text boxes i have kept these are simple text box so just to save the time i'm just going to copy paste this okay so the technique that i have used is same text color i have given gradient fill now coming up to how to write this dot here okay so let me just show you a quick example how to do that so once again i will take a text box here now i will write for example text one and now you want to put a dot there so remember it's not a full stop it's a dot there's a difference so this is a full stop and this is a dot so to get this you need to press alt on your keyboard and press 0183 on your numpad so alt 0183 will give you this dot the another shortcut to do this is by going to insert tab and insert as a symbol so let me just show you how you can do that so come to insert tab i'll come to symbols now you need to find a symbol it's a bullet here and you can click insert now you can see it's comparatively bigger and looks better so write this you can write text 2 and simply you can just keep it you can copy it and you can write text 3 so this is the way i have followed here to write this this looks very neat and clean so once we are done with this i hope you won't find any problem and by the way this template is available for free to download you can visit my Gumroad page, the link is given in the description box. Now once again, these are the text boxes. I'll just copy this once again and I'll put it over here. Now I'll show you how can you create this button register now. So for that, what I have done, I have come to shape and I have taken rectangle rounded corner. If you are unable to see it here, you can come to rectangles and the second option. So I will draw it here and there is a yellow icon you can see you can just stretch it like this to make it round corners from the two sides now i'll again come to 
gradient and i'll fill the gradient and make sure that i there is no line and now i will change the font quickly so i'll just make it roboto condensed and i'll make a bolder version of it and now i'll type register today and i'll reduce the font size a bit now you might have noticed for my button i have an outline also so how to create that so for that what i have done is i have just press ctrl c and ctrl v to get a duplicate of that and i have removed the text from it now what i'm going to do is instead of doing fill i'm just going to change the fill as no fill and in the line option i'm going to make it gradient fill and just i will remove the two stops and in the first stop i will choose our first color and in the second stop i'm going to choose the second color with this we got a beautiful gradient and i'll just enlarge the size a bit and i'll place it over there now you can see in the vertical direction the spacing looks fine but in the horizontal direction the spacing is very big so how to do that so just press control on your keyboard and drag it slowly until you feel it's perfect so you can see now our button is ready now next thing is i'm going to do is i'll go to right click here and i'm going to click hyperlink and you can just type in your address so for example www.someconferencewebsite.com and i'll press ok so now this is linked same thing can be done on the other shape as well now i'm going on the insert tab i insert icons and there i, I will find icon called cursor here and i'll click insert it is just to give a feeling so where it is yeah it is here i'll bring in here and i'll reduce its size and once again right now you can see under format graphics we can't give it a gradient fill color so what i'm going to do is under the format option here you can see you have option called convert to shape so i'll convert this to shape and now we can give a gradient fill so now it looks a part of theme now let me just it's very easy these are simple rectangles so let me just do it so i'll just create a rectangle here and once again i'll come to fill or format shape fill gradient fill and right now it's you can see it's going from top to bottom however wherever we have given our gradient is going from left to right so instead of 90 i will give it zero and let me just quickly copy these text boxes once again press ctrl c to copy and i'll paste it here just for your reference now there is a border make sure that you click on the line and no line and you can see i have kept one more line here so it is very easy to do under the drawing option take a line and draw a line like this you might be wondering why i'm drawing because i i can attach end to end there okay so i'll just bring in here and now i will come to gradient fill and once again i will give gradient fill to that so left side blue color and right side a purple color now i can increase its width a little bit this looks fine and here we go we are now ready with our brochure now it's time to save this document so let's come so i will come to file option print so now what's the problem you can see there is some border here so the best way to save this is come to file option save as and let's say i have written i have made a folder conference brochure and i will save as pdf and just click save so let me just show you a preview so it's there in adobe reader and here we go we have a very beautiful looking brochure just made in powerpoint one more thing is missed let's quickly do that i have created a partition over here so it's very easy to do so i will take this line itself i will press ctrl and drag it and i will make it vertical like this and make sure that you move this to center and now keeping this line selected 
under the line option under the arrow type begin arrow type you make it this one circular oval arrow same way here also now you can see you have a very beautiful line over there that's all guys for today's tutorial i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you're really concerned please hit the like button and share this video with your fellow mates i will see you in next video by the time bye bye